Using this technique in other problems, I'm going to tell you about a fascinating problem that we encountered, a case of dystonia. So dystonia is a, is a disorder affecting children. It's a genetic disorder, and it involves a twisting motion. And these children get progressively more and more twisting until they can't breathe, until they get sores, urinary infections, and they die. So back in 1997, I was asked to see this young boy, perfectly normal. He has this genetic form of dystonia. There are eight children in the family. Five of them have dystonia. So here he is. This boy is nine years old, perfectly normal until the age six. And then he started twisting his body. First, the right foot, then the left foot, then the right arm, then the left arm then the trunk, and then by the time he arrived, within the course of one or two years, the disease onset, he could no longer walk, he could no longer stand, he was crippled. And indeed, the natural progression as this gets worse is for them to become progressively twisted, progressively disabled, and many of these children do not survive. So he is one of five kids. The only way he could get around was crawling on his belly like this. He did not respond to any drugs. We did not know what to do with this boy. We did not know what operation to do, where to go in the brain. But on the basis of our results in Parkinson's disease, we reasoned, why don't we try to suppress the same area in the brain that we suppress in Parkinson's disease, and let's see what happens. So here he was. We operated on him, hoping that he would get better. We did not know. So here he is now, back in Israel, where he lives, three months after the procedure, and here he is.